R.I. President Mark Maloney and Spouse Gay, R.I.D. Kim Kim, R.I.D. Rafi Garcia and Spouse Minda, TRF Trustee, a very good friend of mine, Brenda Cressy, the Honorable Senator Manny Pacquiao and Spouse Jinky. Thank you so much, Sen Manny. Our discount chair, Task District Governor Karen Tamayo, Rotary International Director 3810 Council of Governors and Spouses, headed by Past District Governor Edmond Aguilar, District Governor Audie Tariella and Spouse Lenny, District Governor Nominee Robert Coa and Spouse Arlene, District Governor Nominee Designate Joyce Ambre and First Gentleman Ermi. My fellow classmate, governors in the Philippines and other district governors abroad. And I'm very, very happy to have with me my classmate DG Sumiyo Nakamura of District 2820 in Japan and District Governor Kisam Lee of District 3661 in Korea. The Philippine Council of Rotary Governors headed by Chair Pastor Governor Raul Peralta our parameter friends, headed by Grace Ramirez and Andrew Best. My beloved champion presidents, my one of a kind Exacom, headed by BS Eric and COS Bell. My very supportive district officers. My home club, the Rotary Club of Manila, premier, headed by our char champion president, Essie Villavito. Fellow Rotarians from our district and other districts all around the world. We also have here uh, Rotarian Chuck and Cabo, RI Rotaract Committee Task Force member. Our Rotaractors who are watching us now live on Facebook and they're taking care of the watch party. Thank you so much, DRR Erica and spouse Enzo. Of course, my spouse, Johnny and family, friends of Rotary, greetings of peace and love. Once again, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. My favorite Lebanese poet, author, and journalist, Khalil Gibran said, and I quote, a man's true wealth is the good he does in the world. Armed with these 12 enduring words, I made a covenant with all of you on July 1st, 2019, that we will all do good in the world, that we will be true to Rotary International's main reason of existence 115 years ago in a small office in Chicago, that of doing good in the world, that of putting service above self. A very simple promise, yet the magnitude of its impact is immeasurable and transcends to all humankind's hopes and dreams of living a life that does not dwell on its emptiness, but a life that gives meaning and enrichment to one's heart and mind, where love becomes the core of our existence in doing good. District 3810 takes pride in all that we have accomplished all these long years that we have been part of Rotary International. Year in and year out, we take off our hats to the leadership of our past district governors and their team. We reveled on their beautiful projects, on their atmos outpouring of their time, talent, and treasure. Just so, a remarkable rotary year can be done. I thank you all my predecessors for in you, I take pride and honor to be included in the roster of governors in our premier district. And when I was sworn into office exactly 355 days since then, I promised to myself and family that I will be a good governor. I may not be the best, but I will be a good governor. 
Modesty aside, I think I have been a good one for I did good in the world. And my champion presidents and team did good in the world without waiting for anything in return. Today, we are in the midst of a crisis. So many things happening in the world. Many of us were saying that we have abruptly stopped and our activities stalled since March, but the invisible opponent came like a thief in the night, stripping us of our time and basically our everyday movements. Is this really true? I guess not. For you and our champion team also slipped into the night, not as a thief, but as a saving grace to immediately provide what was needed, what was essential, what was expected of the actions of Rotarians and champions like us. We were immediately dispatched by our spirits to do good in the world, addressing the needs of our society in these most troubled times of COVID-19. Rotarians were all over. Our champion team never backed down. We were in fact also known as frontliners. The Rotarian frontliners always ready to do good in the world. My dear fellow Rotarians and friends, I thought of not enumerating our champion year's accomplishment. As for me, counting what you did will not do justice to what was really done in terms of the happiness and fulfillment that you have spread to the men, women, and children whom we have served. But I guess I will not also do justice to my champion presidents and officers who took all steps to ensure that amidst all the hardships and sacrifices that we have done together, we might in one way or the other relish the memories that we have spent and examine whether we can still improve the goodness that we have shared to the next generation of leaders in our district. Hence, allow me to tell you the amazing story of the champion team. Once upon a time, there lived a group of men and women and some young people who just thought of doing service by connecting to the world. The adults at first numbered 2,717 and the young were 2,800. They belonged to a humanitarian organization called Rotary in a district called District 3810 with 108 clubs at first whose aim was to do projects and projects after another, and meet to have fellowships and strengthen the band that they have been having all those years. The young people saw in their elders the great deeds that they are doing and followed too. But I know that for them to run their clubs, they have to be properly trained. And so went the remarkable trainings that gave them the knowledge that will guide them as they start their year in office. <clears throat> to solidify their promise to do service, they were inducted into office and showed the world that they are the new batch of leaders who will provide basic education, conquer disease and prevent its spread, give clean water and see that everyone is healthy through proper sanitation, save mothers and children from the bandage of poverty, provide local communities with economic help and bring peace and love to everyone. One after the other, this amazing people who call themselves champion Rotarians was led by a lady called the governor and her court of officers, whose primary purpose was to support the clubs in the district, to guide them and instill in them the marks of true Rotarian champion leaders. Day in and day out, they would meet in inductions. There were about 70 inductions 
and hundreds of fellowships. The core of the officers, the Execom would have meetings every now and then, while everyone would meet once a month for area meetings to tackle what has been accomplished and on what more to improve in their clubs and the district. As the days and months passed, their governor and officers would remind them of the requirements to be able to have a vibrant and functional club. Never ending a wonderful projects were laid down. This would be true happiness every time fellowships were done in the district. They enjoyed merrymaking in their mooncake festivals, Chinese New Year, Oktoberfest, sports tournaments, singing contest, Halloween and Christmas parties, family days, and the likes, all geared to balance everything as all buckled down to work when they did their projects. The governor and the officers would light up every time projects are done in the clubs. There were more than a thousand projects accomplished by the clubs, benefiting tens of thousands of people, all with a happy smile on their faces. Projects such as providing classrooms to boost education, doing medical and dental missions, creating jobs, everyday feeding, donating medical equipments, construction of deep wells, providing informative talks, saving someone's life by donating a pacemaker, eradicating dengue through its dengue warriors, and all kinds of help one can never imagine were all done by the clubs and the champion presidents. Amidst all of this good works being done in the district, the mother organization Rotary International never abandoned them. From a donation that was given to the foundation of Rotary three years ago, the foundation gave back in the form of district designated funds and global grants to further help the clubs in their pursuit to do more projects. There were seven global grants approved and the district designated fund were enjoyed by the clubs. The champion team seeing how the donations to the Rotary Foundation can come back and put into good use, they thought of helping more the Rotary Foundation. To date, the champion team have sent to the Rotary Foundation the amount of 517,516 US dollars and more is expected before the year ends. An angel added $50,000 more on the eve of the discount. The champion team also did not abandon their desire to continue to adhere to RI's signature project, which started in the Philippines. The end polio campaign. From the start of their term, donations were pouring in for this cause. The cash donations to date, which will include the district project of Las Tura for Polio, will have about 65,000 US dollars, not to mention the donation that came from the DDF in the amount of 61,373 US dollars, or a total of 126,373 US dollars. When matched by the Gates Foundation, which is a partner of Rotary International, the district will have a whopping polio plus donation of about 550,000 US dollar. The champion team could not have been so happy then. They know how they have contributed to save lives of many people. They know that this is what they are here for. In fact, they take pride that in the next month, they will be able to see their legacy. The Rotary Champion Village in Sarangani province with 50 houses built, a multi-purpose hall, a basketball court, and an open space where children can play and laugh and where their parents can bask in the happiness of life. Thanks to the Rotary Foundation, 
for this global grant and the lot donated by our charter president, Senator Manny Pacquiao. Truly a champion village we can all be proud of. As our Rotarian leaders continuously do their marks, they did not forget to get connected with friends from out of the country. The sister friendship was remarkable too as partnerships were strengthened and support came in lips and bounds. The 24 letter word when the champion team started their year of together, we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities and in ourselves, I think we're utilized to the max. They did not forget also the young people where they worked hand in hand with the champion team. The rotor actors and the interactors were a source of inspiration to them for they were very innovative. The millennials are really a joy to be with. As the days passed, the champions did not forget to see to it that they must have a room for their public relations, not to boast, but to remind people that good things must be emulated by not just the Rotarians, but any person who have the desire to make a change in the lives of every human being. With this, the district came out with a governor's monthly letter, a website dedicated to the activities of the clubs, souvenir programs, TV, radio, and print media. Social media accounts were all over the champion team. Uniforms with the district name on it in international competitions were likewise displayed with partnership from other districts. Four-way test markers, logo of Rotary and banners placed in strategic places were all put up. Everyone was happy to see all of this for it reminded them that Rotarians are really people of action. Their being people of action was put into solid test when one after another Disaster struck their year, typhoons, earthquakes, the huge asphalt of the Al Volcano, the emergence again of polio, the pandemic crisis of COVID-19, and the passing of some of their beloved members. And senior leaders gave them a big blow. Yes, they were knocked down, but as true champions, they were never knocked out and they stood up again for champions, never refused to fight. And they fought and fought through the helps they provided. And this chapter of the story was one to behold. As the champion team will soon take a ball, they thought of putting another push, a project coined Pandeliza will be unveiled. This is rotary bread for a cost that will give livelihood to the mothers so that they will be able to continue the process of living a life with dignity and pride, a life that will lift them up and their families from poverty and the never ending stigma of being called the poorest of the poor. And with this, the champion team hands in to the transformational team the fruits of their labor so that they can add more and rewrite the history of District 3810 with more amazing stories to tell. With seven more new clubs added and a total of 3,174 3, members to date and an increase of 470 members and our youth numbering 2,000 947 and nine new clubs, the saga and the beautiful story of the champion year continues. And as they say, in the ending of beautiful stories and the champion presidents and officers and team 
lived happily ever after. My dear fellow Rotarians and friends of Rotary, I take pride in being the governor of this amazing story. For I also take so much honor to have worked with my champion presidents, my exocrum and the rest of my officers and our admin staff and to the whole Rotarians of District 38210 who believed that we can champion the causes of Rotary. And last, but most important of all, my undeniable praise and thanks to the Lord Almighty from whom I have received all the blessings, guidance, and protection. My Lord, you are the champion of all champions, and you made this wonderful things happen. On a lighter note, I have missed my name, Lisa, for a year, as you all called me governor. 11 days from now, I would be much happy to hear you call me again by my simple name, Lisa. I, my spouse Johnny and my family will forever be indebted to all of you for giving us the opportunity to walk in the path of goodness and love in the spirit of Rotary service. We shall forever remember the time spent with all of you and the respect you have showered us. I know there were times when this respect was a little bit shattered, but I still believe that if you want to really do good in the world, you cannot do that unless you first show respect to each and every one. I have started with a quote from Khalil Gibran, and I would like to end my quote again from Khalil Gibran, my favorite author. I have existed from all eternity, and behold, I am here, and I shall exist till the end of time, for my being has no end. I am Lisa Vicencio Elorde, not signing off, but I still will see you again in person and in service to others. Mabuhay ang Rotary International, Mabuhay ang District 3810, Mabuhay ang champion team. Maraming maraming salamat po. Good day everyone. Thank you very very much.